How to create a pop-up text glitch effect in DaVinci Resolve 19.0.1. Inside your project edit window, go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Effects. Click and drag a Fusion Composition clip from the Effects menu to your Edits timeline. Using the Selection Mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, click and drag at the end of the Fusion Composition edit to manually change the duration of your clip. Keeping an eye on the overall duration at the bottom of the box which appears next to your mouse cursor and the change in duration which appears above this. According to my project settings, my timeline has a frame rate of 24. We will need to pay attention to this property when determining the speed of our animation effect. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion Nodes panel, go to Add a Text Plus node from the Nodes options above. Select either left or right view underneath text 1 to see a preview of your text message above the Fusion timeline. With text 1 selected, go to Inspector and underneath text, type in the message that you wish to have appearing on screen. Determine the font, colour and size that you wish for your final text to be. Here in this example I will select Myriad Pro with a bold italic style. With the frame number set to 0, select the keyframe diamond icon next to size under text and reduce size to 0. I will now go half a second further on my timeline. Since we previously determined that the frame rate for the project timeline here was 24, I need to go to the 12th frame, here in this case frame 11. I will now change the size of my text to the final value 0.4 to create the basic pop-up effect. Now to apply the shaky glitch effect. With text 1 selected, hold and shift and press space. Inside the select tool window, use the search box at the bottom to find the camera shake effect with the parenthesis alongside this. Click on this and go to click on Add. Click on the grey box alongside Camera Shake 1 and drag this to the yellow arrow alongside Media Out 1 to make a connection so that your effect will appear in your final output. Select either left or right view underneath Media Out 1 so that you can see a preview of your final effect appearing above your Fusion timeline. With Camera Shake selected, return back to frame 0. To ensure that there is no vibrations of your text at the start of your animation, Reduce overall strength to 0 and select the keyframe diamond icon next to this property. I will now advance forward to frame 9, which is 2 frames before the text reaches its final size. I will select the keyframe diamond icon once again here. And I will advance to frame 10, where I will now maximise the overall strength value, so that the camera shake effect makes an abrupt start on your animation sequence. I will now advance forward to frame 12, one single frame after the text reaches its maximum size, and will select the keyframe diamond icon again next to overall strength. I will now go forward by one frame to frame 13, and will reduce overall strength to zero, so that the camera shake effect comes to an abrupt halt. Depending on your preview, if you wish to decrease the amount of horizontal or vertical movement, you can also manipulate the X or Y deviation variable values. Here in this example, I will reduce the horizontal movement by decrementing X deviation from 0.2 to 0.15. Now to apply the text blur effect. With camera shake selected, hold and shift and press space. And go to select frame average. Return to frame 0. Select the keyframe diamond icon next to frames with the value set at 0. I will return to frame 9 where the camera shake effect was first applied. Underneath inspector and controls, I will reselect the keyframe diamond icon next to frames, advance one frame forward, and now increment frames to the maximum value of 5, with sample direction set to backward and missing frames set to duplicate original, so that we can see blurred stills of the text in its previous form. I will advance forward to frame 12 and will reselect the keyframe diamond icon for frames underneath inspector for frame average. And finally, I will go on to frame 13, where the final keyframe was applied to camera shake. And underneath inspector and controls, I will reduce frames to zero, to bring the blurred distortion effect to a halt. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video is useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.